it's real hard to get it really smooth. I figured I should make an inner room in the engine room. And not when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. It's quite hard to angle grind this smoothly as it's so rough the angle grinder that and, and it's a curved surface so it's real hard to get it really smooth but then I think we should go back to the fact that do not overdo the details it's underneath the engine it will not be seen very much. No, it's 10 o'clock in the evening. Let's take the night off. Have a good night. So. <laughs> Can we help us see?
Last episode, fiberglass lasagna. This episode, five o'clock. Let's brew some tea. You need good tea. In this case, we're gonna use tea wood. Looks good, tastes good. Tea is done. Tea has been set. The engine bed is ready glossed and uh, it's no time to plan the next step to how should the engine room look and how well insulated should it be. In my opinion, it should be very well insulated. And we're making plans for the progress. What else is more natural than going alone into the Norwegian fjords to have some quiet time to plan? I'm taking my bike. If you wish to continue to watch, I might pop up a bit of extra material from that trip at the end of this video. Have a nice day.
So this is Mo, M-O, not Moo or Mao. Mo, 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 darling. Mo, Mo Valley, Mo Valley. Mo. We'll now go up the mountains. It's uh, getting quite high up in the mountains. We are uh, having uh, low clothes today. Might not be a good idea to camp on top. It will only be fog. So, quite uh, a nice place, very green. So we're looking forward to set up a camp somewhere. We'll find out. Very good. So we are on our way down again, uh, as this is in the clouds, uh, and um, there's not much to see really. So, thinking about the engine area, I figure that since I am a hyphy enthusiast, I should be able to insulate that room in a way that dampen as much engine sound as possible. But then we will have to make a special build. It's amazing how creative one can be when being a bit alone in the wilderness. Anyway, um, I figured I should make an inner room in the engine room, sort of to seal off the noise from the engine as close as possible to the engine. Of course, the engine need to breathe and I will also need to make a sort of a case uh, an entrance for the air to come into the engine room and that should of course be made of wood to absorb any noise that leak out from the engine room. Normally I guess one would insulate. What I've learned from the hyphae a certain material will only absorb uh, a certain frequency limit maybe from a thousand, thousand hertz to 4000 Hertz, for example. It would be like the material you will find in office spaces that will then be excellent for absorbing jet talk. And I believe that the engine makes a lot of frequency. Some of them are very low frequent, but some are also very high. That means I will have to insulate with Materials that have different properties. I'm figuring things out as I'm working with it. I'm not planning it very much. 
I should do that. Of course, I should use spend a winter planning and make uh, plans, plans, plans. But you know, surprises will occur. What about the plans then? If you have any input to me, how to insulate the engine room in a way that performs way better than normal well insulated engine rooms please please comment below no below comment below <laughs> later i should also read a very smart book to broaden my mind so i brought walden so do you know what that is you could see the movie Dead so it's the Head Poets Society. And then you will see. It's nice for those of you that still <laughs> wish to see this. I went to the woods because I wish to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life and see if I could not learn what it had to teach, and not, when I came to die, discover that I, that I had not lived. I did not wish to live what was not life. Living is so dear. Nor did I wish to practice resignation, unless it was quite necessary. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life. Then I'm home again. A great trip. I hope it has brought some inspiration and ideas for the restoration and the refurbishment of the Fisher. And if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you have any comments, please leave them in the section below. Also consider to subscribe. Great.